Right, so the Mpumalanga government hosting a two-day provincial crime prevention summit in Bombela aimed at adequately responding to crime and developing a program of action to deal with crime in the province. For more on this, uh, our reporter who's covering it for us is Tumelo Machojo, and of course he's joined by his guest, Lieutenant General. Let's uh, get more from them. Uh, good morning again to you, Tumelo. Good morning, Liane. Yes, indeed, the, uh, the uh, uh, Provincial Crime Prevention Summit is expected to get underway at around 10 o'clock here in White River. And right now we've got the, uh, the, the, uh, the Provincial Commissioner, uh, Lieutenant General Smagale Manamela, joining us this morning. May, thank you so much for speaking to us this morning. We have seen that uh, 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 crime has actually spiked across the country and also in this province. But why, in particular, do you guys want to start this uh, Provincial Summit? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Tumelo. I think uh, with the collaboration of the stakeholders that we have called today to, to deal with the issues of crime, we as the province and the South African Police Service, we came to realize that the crime is giving us uh, a trouble. The crime is escalating in the province. So we agreed to say that today in this summit, all the stakeholders that are here, we are in collaboration to can deal with other issues of crime, especially main crimes like murder, like rapes that are giving us problems. So we are coming up with strategies this today that the commissions are going to be to be sitting down, they are going to be coming out with the way forward how we are going to be dealing with the issues of crime in the province. Also talk to me about the, the issue of uh, uh, kidnapping. That is a big issue because now we are almost number two, the province is number two in the country in, when it comes to uh, kidnapping, especially the crimes that have been reported in the Delmas uh, police station. Just talk to us about what are you guys doing there to ensure that those crime are being clamped down especially that we're seeing now those crime are also going into other regions such as Komati Port, such as uh, uh, um, Whitbank and also Kwamhlanga uh, um, um, area. I think when we talking about kidnapping, especially in the Delmas in particular, we have seen in this quarter the kidnapping rate has uh, decreased because what basically happened when those trucks are being hijacked, the people that are being taken, that are being taken to the bushes, we have managed to can arrest mo many of them. Kabukwen was one area that was also giving us a problem. The trucks going to the Libombo area, the Libombo border, we are also trying very very hard so far the measures have been put in place so there are visibility everywhere the density and the operations that we are conducting during these days that we became aware that the, the kidnapping are taking place i think we are doing pretty well on that part the kidnapping in the province are going down let's talk about uh, in terms of rape and also in terms of uh, a murder we've seen also that is actually going up and also it's it's becoming a problem especially when you look at masoi when you look at Kabuk when you look at uh, uh, also Pinar, because Pinar also is one of those police stations that have been like a lot of crime has been reported there in terms of drugs and also all those kind of things. How are you guys addressing those issues? Because, uh, and also in terms of like the imbezos that you guys have had in those areas, uh, have they like proven to be working and to be reducing crime in those areas or are we still seeing more crime happening in those areas? I believe that uh, you are correct. The issues of rape, rape has been a problem for quite some while, but uh, during the last three quarters, rape has been going down in the province. Even this quarter, rape is increasing. The measures that we are using, we are, we are affecting many of the arrests. The awareness that we are having with the community, because remember, many of these crimes have been taking place in the household where people are asleep. Now we have come with measures to say every now and then, when the rape or this such crime have occurred, we managed to can arrest the perpetrators and those suspects. Murder is a, being a problem all over and the murder with the, all this liquor consumptions that we are having, the taverns that we are having and the people that are boyfriends, girlfriends. So murder is going categorically in the stretch. This is one area of the of crime that we still have to work very, very hard and put our foot on the ground. But the measures that we have also put in place as you correctly outlined that the imbezos and the 
awareness and the CPF they are assisting us a lot I think at this stage with the assistance of the of the CPF and the security cluster that is also assisting us to do the visibility and the patrol that making us to be on a better space to can deal with all this crime however I just want to highlight that with the, the, the operations that particularly are, 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 are taking place in the province they are having a very serious impact to can deal with the sketch of crime in the province and also uh, uh, lieutenant just speak to me about you know like the we've been seeing now recently with the issues especially with uh, uh, people robbing ambulances going to clinics and hospital robbing patients and taking their belongings and taking their cell phones that has been coming a problem now especially now we have seen uh, a number of incidents just in the last two two three weeks uh, have you guys been able to arrest people on those issues and also what are you guys doing to ensure that uh, beef up security especially around hospitals and around clinics where people are mostly vulnerable and they're going there to be to be receiving health care but and, and ended up being being targets of uh, being like victims of crimes that is one other reason why the summit is so important because all the other departments they need to come on board because if we are alerted of the movement of all these other vehicles and other structures that the, the movement are going to be there we are able to capacitate and ensure that the security is being given to those issues but as you have been speaking that the investigations are still in contact in that regard so if I cannot be divulged uh, the, 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 the space where the, the investigation is going but we are doing a progress regarding that we became very very aware and we are very much alert of these incidents that are trying to mushroom in as far as that is concerned okay uh, quickly uh, 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 general just speak to me about uh, you know like in terms of we know we are the tourist uh, 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 province and also we have seen now uh, tourism has declined actually in the province because of the crime that has been happening and especially when you're going to Kruger uh, we remember that last incident that happened when a German tourist was killed now Kruger National Park is reporting that they're not even getting more tourists especially overseas tourists what are we going to be making sure that you like we're doing to ensure that those uh, routes especially the panorama route groups are going to, to the Kruger National Park also have more police visibility because we drive on this road but there's no police visibility uh, in, in 30 seconds ma'am our partnership with the tourist department I think has, has yielded the result the R40 the Paramana route and then the securities are there the police visibility is there in that uh, uh, case of the of the tourists we have effected an, an arrest regarding that road but every now and then we are making sure that the deployments there and we're holding the meeting with the, all the stakeholders that other side to ensure that the tourists are not losing uh, confidence to come into the province so this summit is also going to address such that we give, we bring back the confidence to the people to say in Pumalanga we are safe in Pumalanga we are dealing we are working together crime will be managed in the province Lieutenant General Smakale Manamela thank you so much for speaking to us well Leanne the, com the commissions will also take place but the, uh, the, this summit will be open by the provincial uh, uh, by the premier refilum so it's a bunny at around 10 o'clock and also we expect that after that there will be like a lot of commissions where uh, uh, also a lot of presentation especially coming from the NPA and also uh, this uh, crime stats that also uh, Ms. Magale Manamela is expected to also to 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 brief the 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 the, 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 the delegates that are, are going to be here but we expect those uh, to take place and also to take place for the next two days